Being human in your organizational communications is always important, but it's never more important than when you're dealing with crisis communications, especially if it's a tragedy. Yet, that's what so many communicators flee to. They, they run and retreat to the safety of cold, impersonal language, especially if lawyers are involved. And it's a huge mistake. I'm gonna give you two examples. They're both from recent news stories. One of them involved a large pharmaceutical chain uh, of pharmacies that uh, apparently dispensed 10 times the correct dosage of an antipsychotic drug to a four-year-old boy. And this was over the course of months. And the boy experienced severe side effects. Uh, they don't know if there was lasting damage. It's a shocking, horrible story. Here is how the pharmacy responded in their statements to the media. In this case, an unfortunate error was made and the patient received an unintended dose of prescription medication. Sorry, a prescribed medication. In seeking resolution, the associate owner of the pharmacy in question held follow-up conversations with the patient's mother and doctor. We have provided context and apologies in person and through our company customer service team, team we continue to express our sympathy and we are, as we speak, engaged with the customer to help find a suitable resolution to her concerns. Okay, so these are excerpts. So maybe there's something more heartfelt that the uh, news story edited out, but come on, you have to get rid of this RoboCop kind of voice when you're dealing with this kind of situation. When a member of the public hears this story, they are going to have an enormous emotional reaction to it. They're going to feel tremendous sympathy and pity for both the mother of this child and the child himself. And what they aren't going to feel is a kind of cold, impersonal, emotionless, inflectionless tone inside their head. And if that's the tone with which you're communicating, if that's how you've responded, then the other thing they will feel is a big gulf between your reaction and theirs. And that gulf is going to make you seem to them to be very impersonal, uh, very cold, very calculating, and insincere. Here, some of these phrases, an unfortunate error was made. That comes across as both dismissive and evasive. Come on, state, state a general principle. Getting the right dose of the right medicine to the right patient is part of our mission, and we never want to see a mistake like this happen. Or, we continue to express our sympathy. Don't say you're expressing your sympathy. Actually express it. Acknowledge that you're horrified by this. You probably feel really badly for the mom and her son, so say so. Say no child should have to suffer from this kind of mistake. No parent should have to go through an ordeal like this and that you're determined to find out where things went wrong and do what you can to keep it from happening again. Are there legal implications of saying that? Yeah, there probably are. So you're gonna to wanna to talk to your lawyers, let their advice inform your response, but don't let them dictate it, which is what I think has happened here. Because chances are your legal team, they're gonna be thinking about your legal risk, but they're not gonna be thinking about your brand and your reputation. They're not gonna be thinking about your relationship with the public. If you let them, there are good, responsible lawyers out there who will burn your brand to the ground if it means limiting your legal exposure, because limiting their legal exposure is their job. And look, if you think about the words and you look at the meaning, then behind them, very well concealed, there's actual human emotion. But someone wrote this so that they'd mask that emotion. Maybe the hope is that if you suck all the emotion out of the writing, then you'll suck it out of the story too. But the truth is you don't have that kind of power. What happened here carries its own emotional punch and you have to respond accordingly. There's a second story. This one's a, pre a prescription error. The outcome was even worse. An eight-year-old was killed. And the small independent pharmacy released a statement to the media that said, at this time, we have no comment. The family has retained counsel. The matter is being addressed. Three terse sentences. And listen, I've been coming at this from a brand reputation point of view, but there's more to it than that. A family is stricken, a child has died, and your company is involved. 
And I know thinking about that must be overwhelming and terrible, but when you communicate, you have to lean into those feelings. If all you are doing is giving people this kind of terse legal boilerplate, you're diminishing that family's grief and you're diminishing your own humanity. This is soul crushing stuff, but language and authentic communication help us survive it. They may even help us understand it a little. And at the very least, human communication reminds us that we aren't alone. And if your communication aims to do nothing less than at least aim for that. <laughs>